Today, let's talk about someone whom God had chosen, who was nevertheless hiding among the equipment. You'll see what I mean when I read to you from 1 Samuel chapter 10, verses 21 and 22. We read this. And when he had caused the tribe of Benjamin to come near by their families, the family of Matri was chosen, and Saul the son of Kish was chosen. But when they sought him, he could not be found. Therefore they inquired of the Lord further, Has the man come here yet? And the Lord answered, There he is, hidden among the equipment. Samuel gathered the tribes of Israel together to present the new king to them all. God had already led Saul to Samuel and gave Saul a special anointing to serve as king. Yet he had not yet been presented to Israel. For that presentation, the prophet Samuel showed everyone that Saul really was the one that God gave to Israel as their first king. Using some way to determine God's will, maybe they cast lots or they use the Urim and the Thummim, the tribe of Benjamin was selected. Then the family of Matri was chosen in Benjamin. Then in the family of Matri, Saul the son of Kish was chosen. Everyone knew that Saul was the one. The text tells us, and Saul the son of Kish was chosen. Now, Saul was already anointed king over Israel. But God did this to show the whole nation that Saul was the right man. It showed that God chose Saul and not any man. Now, at the same time, it's important to say that Saul did not become king because of this choosing by lot. Instead, he was chosen king because of God's word to the prophet Samuel. The choosing by lot simply confirmed the word of the Lord through Samuel. Saul was the one, but no one could find him. The king of Israel was hidden among the equipment. Now here, Saul showed a healthy embarrassment and humility. He did not look forward to taking center stage in front of the nation. He seemed to dread it. Saul was not made king because of his personal ambition or to gratify a desire for the limelight. Saul started with a beautiful humility. Sadly, he ended in pride. But the beginning in humility should not be forgotten. Saul and the kingdom of Israel enjoyed many blessings connected with his early humility. It's always true. God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Now, it was not only humility that made Saul hide among the equipment. We can also say that he was avoiding the crown, the destiny God had chosen for him. Charles Spurgeon, in a sermon titled, Hiding Among the Stuff, showed how both believers and unbelievers hide, avoiding their crown. Spurgeon said this, There may be some of you here present who may be doing precisely what Saul did, only you are doing it more foolishly than he did. He did but hide away from an earthly crown, but you hide from a heavenly one. Friend, God has a crown for you. Don't hide from it. Humbly receive it and walk forward in the calling and the wonderful destiny that he has for you. God's loving destiny is there for you. Receive it and walk in it today.